Hello and welcome to another world tutorial. So you can see we're starting from scratch here. So today we're going to talk about how to make stuff with um, some of the devices that I've made recently. <laughs> We're going to start off with grain spec. I know it's pretty old now, but uh, still find it useful, so let's give it a whirl. Um, first thing I like to do is just grab some samples from, uh, <clears throat> from Splice, and we're going to just kind of chop them together. So let's bring them over to the other side. That uh, seems fine. And then let's take a little listen to what we got. Cool. I'm gonna turn that down a little bit. And then, god damn you. Alright, here we go. Um, so yeah. Beautiful. That's fantastic. And then we've got this thing. Those are cool. It's kind of a cool sound. It's a nice little bass sound. I'm not really looking for like the best stuff. I just want a bunch, a bunch of sounds. Like we'll make it cool after. So let's just start by putting in like a this drum loop. You can loop that. And we're just gonna sort of prepare a little bit before we get into it. So maybe we'll put some of these sounds near the end. Um try reversing some of them. That's kind of a nice one. Uh, or stretching them or whatever. This might be kind of fun if we scroll over here and then we pick like texture mode. Oh yeah, let's do a little grain size manipulation. Beautiful. Okay, we'll throw in some of this space in here. And it's probably nice to have a clean snare or clean. Oh, actually this is kind of a cool sound so let's do that what that what oh, I don't need that hi-hat we don't really need hi-hats in this stage here uh, we'll get we'll layer in hi-hats later so we can probably chop out a bunch of these right off the bat uh, okay we use that guy already that's well, kind of a nice little variation. Let's find a place for that. Yeah, we probably don't want it on there. Uh, that's nice. Okay, because we have this other kick here. Yeah. Uh, you know what we could do also is like do a little cheeky little crossfade, and then this one will be stretched out, pitched out version, maybe? Yeah, well we could layer in another bass under there. What's this? Oh, that's a nice Kyoda. Kyoda. I'm not really sure how to pronounce that name, but that's okay. Let's throw in another layer here. Fade that in. Yeah, that's cool. Uh, I'm kind of getting sick of this kick already. We could maybe do a little. Bow, bow, bow. I know, it's probably not going to sound like that, but you get the idea. It's nice, a little, little something something. You can also try layering that. Uh, an octave above. Maybe we'll have to high pass it, but we'll see. Yeah, that doesn't sound that great. Kind of like that. Nice. Okay, let's high pass it because we don't want that. Sounds a lot cleaner. 
So that's cool. Uh, what was this thing again? That was a stupid thing. Okay, get out of my face. And these are kind of cool, so we can throw in a couple of those. Okay, we got that snare again. Cool artifacts from this. Yeah, okay, good enough. Uh, I think we had a snare or something. Oh, yeah, we could probably use this some more. This is a really nice sound. We didn't really get the beginning of it either, so. Yeah, again, we don't want 10,000 of the same kick, so... <laughs> don't need the hi-hats either. Stretch version. I don't know. I don't know what I'm doing. I'm just just going with the flow, y'all. Oops, not that. Yeah, sure, whatever. Oh, we could probably layer in one of these bad boys, too. Just stretch that to hell. Crossfade it. That's nice. Nice. Let's get that other snare in there. No, oh, that's not a snare. What the hell is that? I have no more snare. Oh, snary boy! Okay, here we go. Snaring it up. Oh, you know what a nice trick is for this? So, see, you want your snare to be kind of long, but you it like the transient sounds stupid if you. Sn drag it out so go here let's go back to whatever the fuck this was I think we're even gonna pitch it up from here so there we go so now we take this old boy and we're gonna crossfade him and then this we need to get way more Snary. Oh, hello. Okay. Yeah, okay. So then... I don't know. That's nice. Get a little something, something like that. Uh, I think we've used enough of this guy. Get another kick in here. 
the Seppa, these Seppa packs are pretty sweet. So let's see what we got in here. Oh, this might sound cool when it's all messed up. Ooh, yeah, that's another cool kind of kick. <clears throat> Try the next uh, iteration of that. Ooh. He's got some cool basses in here too, somewhere. So lush. That'll probably sound cool somewhere, so let's just sneak a bit of it in. You know, of course, if you've got your own samples. Oh, I love that sound, it's so fucking cool. If you got your own samples, you can like that you made you can Ooh. yeah let's try to make that a bit louder Here's like a little run, so we could do like cha cha cha. Uh, said rakaka. Uh, Fucking louder, motherfucker. Yeah, let's sneak a couple of these sounds in there too. It'll make it sound more like uh, something. Okay, so we're not so worried about how this turns out, right? We just want to get like a basic something in there. I uh, probably am gonna squish it with the old ye old drum bus. Gonna make sure the damp is off because that's just a low pass filter. Throw in a bit of this nonsense. <laughs> Yeah, that's probably good enough. So let's record that. We could go even longer, like, um, you know, we've only got four bars here, but it, this is just sort of a demo, so we'll just kind of roll with that. Let's go pre-effects here. Not that I have any effects on the master, but whatever. Okay, that's pretty cool. So now we can chuck that into grain spec. Oh, no we can't, can we? Well, let's... So, okay, so just, yeah, that happens sometimes. Sometimes Ableton doesn't want to let go of the file. So there's a quick workaround. You just go here and crop it. And then for some reason, it'll allow that. And now my slice threshold, you can see I'm not really getting all the transients here. And this, the, the transient detection in here is a bit jank. So, it is what it is. Work with it. See what you can get. Now we can slide over to grain spec a la carte. Turn that up. This is, yeah, whatever, that drive is fine, probably. Now let's start working on a little loop here. So... Uh, where does this guy start? So we're at C 
minus two. So he he wants to start right down here. It's gonna be our first sample. Um, and now here, I'm gonna go with lo longer sounds. Um, I'm just trying to, like, I've set the speed low, sp set the time stretching to general. Um, also, I've just kind of realized recently that if you don't have the full version of Max, some of these are not going to work for you, um, which is too bad. But, uh, you know, they got to pay for them time stretching algos somehow. So that's all right. It is what it is. Um, uh, I think we can turn that down. I don't think we really need to variation on the grain size position we also don't want to vary uh i like to choose a fast grain speed and a sort of bigger grain size and then here we could probably limit the width a little bit here because you can see it's like super mega wide oh. that's kind of nice That's, yeah, okay. All right. Oh, yeah. Okay. So, that's kind of usually how I'll start it off. Um, and then we can just kind of play around here. So, this guy, maybe we'll turn up the speed a little bit to start. Yeah, that's, that's kind of long. Now we're just sort of rearranging at the moment. And you see, like, the speed not matching the speed of the thing. <laughs> it's pretty rowdy. Um, I'm not sure what I'm going to start with here with the speed. Oh, I kind of like that. Where's our snare? Yeah, I think this will work. Okay, let's find ourselves another snare. Nice. We'll do like that. Wow. This thing. I don't know how far along we are in the sample here. That's a kick. Get some of these longer sounds in there. Yeah, okay, so that should be kind of good enough, right? We're not, again, it's very crucial. Let it suck at the beginning. Just let it, just let it suck. It's fine. Okay, so now 
now that we're here, um, <clears throat> let's start animating the speed. I'm going to go all the way over to this thing. I think basic should be fine. And this transient, so the way it works is you have this kind of crossfade between playing the transient normally and and then going into the stretching part and then this kind of tells you how long or this is where you decide how long that crossfade is going to be and the reason that we do that is if you have like a phase vocoder or a grain kind of uh, granular sort of resynthesis of the sample then sometimes your phase like the playback of the transient just doesn't sound nice and tight so that's why we've got that little thing in there um, so now oh, that kind of turned out nice maybe here we need a little bit of other sounds Okay, so, yeah, we got something. Uh, yeah, why don't we play around with the, the automating the speed a little bit. Um, I think we can get it sounding a bit nicer. Uh, now, here, um, probably not going to want the speed too high, so it, it might actually be nice to map this to a macro, and then just go, like, a minus one to one. And then... Just kind of, whoops, just kind of reduce our range a little bit. So now we can get a little bit more precise with like, you know, say we want to go like. Yeah, and then here we probably want to play it forward again. Yeah, this is kind of cool. And then after the snare, we can start going backwards again. Mm, let's go faster backwards. Um, although I kind of liked when this was doing more stuff. So that's pretty cool. Now we can duplicate this over. Whoops, don't lock it. And now, um, here we could just try out other sounds. So, maybe this one. Actually, beginning of the loop might be nice to keep that. Ah, uh, turn off the stupid headphones. Is there a hotkey for this, by the way? Maybe. Okay. Whatever.
Where do we get that? Oh, that's this stupid shit. Oh, I forgot to put that in. Oh well, whatever. Get out of my face. <laughs> Yeah, it's getting there. I told you that sound was going to come in handy. It was a good sound. Okay. Uh, yeah, so that's good. So that's one way is to vary the, the, you know, the slices that you put in there. Um, you can also try varying the, uh, the speed here. Um, which uh, we didn't do much of. Just this little change here. Uh, but we could try, for example, I don't know, these ones. Let's try that. Meh. Yeah, I don't know. It's kind of cooler before, I think, so let's just leave it. Okay, cool. So, you're not done yet. Don't, uh, don't run away just yet. Um, so the next thing I like to do is to layer in some proper kicks and snares. Um, I know I said that this is supposed to save you, but it's like, let's be honest, it's not really saving, saving you entirely. Um, and the other thing that that lets you do is that once you've layered in nice kicks and snares, and not too aggressive ones, I find, uh, let's go back to splice. I think I've got some kicks here or something. Um, one second here. Yeah, I like this. I can't get enough of this kick for some reason. Ah, oh, yeah. Can you hear that? I don't know if you can hear that. Here it is by itself. Listen to that. Listen to that kick. It's just... Ooh. I just love it. Okay, you can barely hear it under this other shit, but whatever. So, again, here we might group. Let's show the drum bus on the whole thing. We might choose to sidechain a bit. I like to um, sidechain just the lows. So, I just made this crossover rack. So, here you choose the crossover frequency. Right? You can pick it quite high. I think that'll be fine. And then we'll choose the input from our little kick, kick buddy. So now we've got this nice little tight, tight kick. I think he's, he's doing pretty good. There. Oh. I don't know if I can hear a difference. Okay, doesn't matter. So we maybe want to layer him in. Doesn't need a kick there. Hard to say. Let's maybe make him shorter. 
So this is where you might want to have a secondary kick chin. So it's going to be kind of more of like a layer. Whereas this one really like to interject and get them in there, sort of kick. I'd say that. Sometimes it's nice to do a little something or something like that. I don't know if that's working for me. But... Yeah, that's cool. Maybe there's an opportunity for a different sound there. Whatever. I uh, don't need that. Okay, the other things we can play around with, here we're on this general mode, maybe rhythmic would be nice. Maybe, I don't know, modify. kind of a different feel so yeah so here we've got this G to S granular to spectral um, and you see I kind of brought in a little bit of these uh, a little bit of that granular sort of feel <laughs> kind of a nice width from that which I quite like okay so that's sort of that um, and we'll layer maybe layer in some snares later also just to make sure we're getting you know nice and punchy sounds uh, let's start playing with these sounds a little bit though um, so now that you've got this to be completely honest with you um, I think a, a sort of safer bet for this would be like <laughs> throw your sidechain thing on another channel and I would fr I would just freeze this um, just you know we made something we like 
Let's just make sure that it is what it is. Okay, so so now um uh and that's just like for safety cuz sometimes the this thing fires again and then we're sort of just stuck and uh, it, it, it can kind of screw up your whatever you were working on so if it, for me I like to be on the safe side and, and just save it there so all right we got our this thing where the hell are we hello hello okay this just make it smaller okay so now we can try doing some other effects here so one that might be cool actually is just to bring in a little bit of like a little cheeky little distortion thing or like what do you want here you could try this so i wouldn't maybe make like a whole little because we don't want this on everything um overdrive maybe Yeah, so, so, I mean, this isn't great, but we could try that. Um, yeah, okay, let's do it like this. So, what was that? 15.7. Okay. Uh, oops. Leave that on. Uh, and we got our drive here. It's 0.33. And then we had our dry wet here, that was 14, and something around that. We're going to maybe spiff this up a little bit, but we'll, we'll see what happens. So now we got this light. Not really enjoying that at all. Hmm. Okay, let's try maybe uh, throwing some, some uh, phaser in there. Might be cool. I don't want this to work. Maybe we'll map both of these red boys there. I'll go like this. really doing it for me. Whoopsie. Hmm. Oh, hello. Might have to come back to this idea later. It's not really doing it for me at all. Kind of want this to be real. start the feedback a bit higher. Yeah. 
Hmm. Alright, so that's kind of something. I'm not sure where else we're going to be able to use that particular effect. What the fuck? Oh, I forgot to hype, or... I to map the, this thing. <laughs> I could try a different frequency here. and all the wrong keys is driving me insane. Okay, so that's kind of cool. Could try maybe a delay thing next. So this guy... I like to pack it up with... Uh, with... Um, a little bit of multiband dynamics. OTT as it's called. Uh, again, we're gonna throw it all in the same macro, just to make our lives easier. All right, anyway, so we're kind of getting into, you know, um, I think it's like, it's starting to work now. So, um, <clears throat> uh, that's, you know, after this, we can layer in another thing with, uh, with grain spec, but that's usually where I'll kind of use it. Oops. Mm, yeah. So try out grain spec. Should really go for longer. Let's try um starting to do backpack. So that's, um, yeah, that's something. I guess now what we could do is like start trying playing with the other effects that we've got. Like we do still have, um, for example, we've got um, Reciprocator here. So we could try that. Um, I think for this, let's use the Saturator. We'll keep that on. I kind of would like it in a dry wet sort of situation. So this will be our dry. I don't want it kind of flapping around afterwards. Yeah, let's set up the chains. Here's our dry wet. Okay. I had the chains and now our what? Can we hear this guy we could try? No, we could try another delay actually. Uh, but you know what I might do actually is this. So if we throw a utility in here, this guy will set him pretty long. Um, and here I'm going to map this to the dry wet. 
So as we start going over to the dry wet, somewhere along the line, we're gonna mute the input for this channel. And what that'll let us do is this sort of thing. Let's bring this down. I hope this works. Oh yeah, okay, this is what I was missing here. I think. Not quite getting the sound I want out of this. time for that. So that's kind of... Let's just do it faster. There we go. Now we got time. If we do the opposite here, so we'll start at a higher number. That's nice. Cool. Okay, so now we got this sort of thing going on. Uh, it's doing it for me. Let's try 50. Oh, we can throw in a little grain delay at the end of there, probably. Let's try that on a couple more places. Oh, 
that's cool. Also, do maybe is um. So now also, if we put this one at the beginning, <clears throat> I don't want to name these, to be honest. Uh, reciprocate. Uh, is this? this is the phaser. Phaser. And this is the delay. Yeah, so now we can do these kind of compact. <laughs> Let's do something like this. And in the end, we'll bring in the delay. <laughs> it's fucking wild. <clears throat> Let's do it here again. It's quite cool. This guy, we can play with this more. So maybe at this point, we want to have a different thing. Here. That's nice. Yeah. Okay. Maybe I'll just make this come in a little softer. You come in later. Yeah, that's nice. Yeah, okay, so you can see how we're like slowly building here. Um, uh, let's keep going with the other Max devices. So we've also got. Uh, Repitch EQ, that's out. Um, not sure what we're going to do with this one, to be honest. Uh, whoops, hello. Uh, let's just try some stuff. Oh, this is not the right version, baby. I've got the wrong version in this folder. Um. Try this one. It looks good. That looks good. Already sounding kind of cool. Let's try it later. Yeah, 
I think we, you can hold the alt to make these wider also. Some of these guys. Who's he? Oh, that's him. We got a lower one. Verse three. <clears throat> Let's go all the way down with that. And then we're gonna slide him over. Oh, that's not three. This is three. Let's make them wider too, fuck it. It kinda needs more time, doesn't it? Yeah, that's basically how you use those those couple ones, I think. Um, yeah, we got a couple other ones coming out soon, and by we I mean me. Um, I'm trying to think of which one might be a fun one to show. Uh, Freak Filt. This is gonna come out soon. I don't know if this is, maybe this is out. Whatever. 
I'll figure that out after this video. Uh, so this guy does a weird thing. You can do some kind of weird sounds in there. Let's try that for, um... This could use a little brightening up. Maybe a bit too much, but uh, we'll figure it out. Yeah, that's kind of cool. Oops, went the wrong way that I thought. this guy up a little bit. Not too much. So this is a, a one that's coming out. This is like a, <clears throat> a filter in the, it's a time-based filter algorithm in the frequency domain. So it doesn't do filter stuff. It just sounds weird. <laughs> Yeah, so try them out. Let me know what you think. Thanks for tuning in. Oh, bye bye. So get it now on my Gumroad store. Wolk.gumroad.com. Bow.